how to install and use Google Drive on your computer. Let's download Google Drive. So we'll try two methods. One is going to be going to the App Store and trying to download it. So I'll type in Google Drive. Here you can see I type in Google Drive and there is no option to download and use Google Drive. There are third party applications. These are basically client applications that I can use. So what can you do? You go to your browser, type in download. So here you can see we have Google help site. So that is what I recommend. Click on that and then scroll down to see download for Mac and then a download is going to start which is going to be google drive.dmg so let it download and then i'll show you how to install it let's open this so here you can see we have google drive.dmg so let's double click on it and here you can see we have install google drive so this is google drive.pkg once i open it here you have install google drive window that pops up click on continue install for so here you can see it's going to download Google Drive for all users on this computer. So we are going to continue and you should note that it's going to take up about 591 MB of space. Now my Mac is about 256 GB. So this is quite a day in application space. Now for some it could be useful for some it could be a bit problematic. So that is up to you. Then click on install and here you want to type in the admin name and password. Click on install software. The admin name and password is only going to pop up if you're not using an admin account. If you are, it probably won't pop up. So here you can see, welcome to Google Drive has come up. Click on get started. Let's close the other window that we don't currently need. And here you can see, to get started, we just need to sign in. And we have an extension for Google Drive. So I'll just enable the extension for now. I'll sign in from my Google account and here you can see it is success. So let's close this and installation was successful. Google Drive is going to open up for us again. And here you can see Google Drive.app wants to start syncing. You can click on OK. To start syncing, if I wanted to sync particular files, I can now click on Open Finder to see drive files. I can go to My Drive and then we can also make drive files available offline. So we don't necessarily have to be online all the time, which is very helpful if you want to work outside of your office or your house. So here you can see I have three options that I can back up with. So one is desktop, one is documents, one is download. I can click on these applications, click on allow, give access, open privacy settings. And in Google Drive, I can click on desktop folder. Now again, I'll have to put in the admin user password, click on modify settings and quit and reopen. So it's going to reopen the application for us. And we are back to the first step. Click on next, next. And as I said, I want to back up desktop as well, but I am going to add a folder. So on desktop, I want to back up just this folder and nothing else. So for example, this is a desktop. It could be some other drive as well. Click on open. So let's say I want to also back up some other folder. So I'm going to go to documents. I'm going to create a new folder called backup drive and then click on create. I'm going to open this folder and it's going to back up this folder for me as well. If I don't want desktop, I can just uncheck it and click on next. And then that is about it. So every time you put any kind of file in that folder that we've created in documents, it's going to automatically back up. So I don't want to back up photos right now and open drive. And here you can see it wants to uh, access files in documents. So I'm going to give it that access as well. And then if I go to my drive, so here you can see all the documents that I have on drive. But if I go to other computers, I can see my MacBook Air backup drive. So backup drive is the folder that we had created, which is basically the documents folder that I had created over here. And that is how you use Google Drive. Yes, the system is initially lengthy, a bit complicated to understand at first but once you get the hang of it it is very convenient so that's about it if you have liked the video do drop a like share and subscribe